Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is um, Tuesday, August 25th, and it is four months until Christmas. <laughs> Just thought you should know. But anyways, I got a happy meal and I wanted to share it with you guys. It's been a few days since I made a, a vlogus video, and it's just because Devin was off on the weekend, so we were busy doing stuff all weekend. We went and got the car cleaned out really good. We shampooed the seats because they were pretty dirty. And um, we hung out at my in-laws a lot. We played, we watched movies with Jesse. We introduced him to Lilo and Stitch. We ended up watching all of the Lilo and Stitch movies over the weekend. And Jesse really loved them, so that's cool. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think that's about all we did. And then yesterday, which was Monday, we went to um, the auto body shop here in town, the local one, and I uh, was talking about the car because I don't know, you know, most of y'all know, but if you don't know, my husband hit a deer on July 28th on his way to work. He leaves early in the morning for work now, and um, he leaves home around 5.05 in the morning, and around like 5 30 it was like 5 27 on the police report <laughs> um is when he hit the deer it hit the driver uh mirror the side mirror totally broke the mirror and broke the shell the the car color shell so it's just like a black frame <laughs> sticking out with the wires and all that and scratched uh probably some of the glass from that scratched the window put some scratches in it and um then when the deer's head hit the mirror, it slung its body around and its butt hit the uh, the driver's side passenger door, the back door, and dented it in really bad. Um, big old dent in it. And then it did a little tiny bit of damage to the, the, uh, the unibody of the car. Just a little tiny bit. Like they said they could probably just get that out easily. Um, it didn't damage it enough to need anything like that replaced, which is good, I guess, because if too much damage is on the, the unibody of the car, they'll total it, but it's just a little tiny dent. It's like that big. <laughs> and uh, there are some scratches throughout the car, I guess, from debris from the mirror. And um, so they got to fix the mirror, the window, the back door, and the little, few little dents and scratches. So anyways, they were looking at that and, you know, talking about car stuff. <laughs> and our, as normal, <laughs> our insurance underestimated it so we're gonna have to go back Thursday when Devin's off work again take the car there and Devin is gonna have to get on the phone with the insurance people and with the car guy there at the auto body shop and they're gonna be like negotiating prices and um, all that jazz <laughs> so hopefully we will be leaving the car there Thursday and hopefully it won't take too long for them to get it fixed I'm, I'm thinking it won't but it really depends on how busy they are you know if they have seven eight cars ahead of us I'm assuming they're gonna have to deal with them first and then get to us but it's all good. My mom's going to loan us her car because they have two cars. Uh, she's going to loan us one of their cars for Devin to go back and forth to work on and us to you know, do our errands and stuff until our car gets out of the shop. And then it should be as good as new, hopefully. And uh, everything will be fine. The guy at the auto body shop did pop our door open for us because it was really stuck. The back um, passenger seat, that's where Jesse's booster seat was. So we had to move it to the other side of the car. But... um. He, he did something to it and popped the door open. So now the door does work. It's just got a big dent in it. And uh, so that's good. But I mean, it doesn't really matter because after Thursday, it'll be there. And then when we get back, it'll be fixed. So yeah, but that's a life update. <laughs> Car stuff. I have a doctor appointment this Friday. And uh, let's see here. Devin has to work this weekend, which kind of stinks because his birthday's Saturday. He'll be 26. Uh, I am older than Devin. <laughs> we always make jokes about that, that I'm like a cougar. Yes, I'm like four and a half years older than him, but whatever. It don't matter. Um, because I'm 30. <laughs> I'm old. <laughs> but anyways, happy well. That's what I'm supposed to be doing is showing happy well. So, uh, I got all this, I think Monday. Yeah, Monday, because today's Tuesday. And Devin's at work, so I can't go anywhere today. <laughs> but I got this one. It's from Linnell from Ohio. And she sent, it's very purple. The envelope, I didn't, I don't know if I showed her address. It's all purple. <laughs> it's purpley. But um, she wrote me a, a nice little note, and the front of it says hugs and prayers. But she included a little prayer pocket shawl. I think that's what she called it. Pocket prayer, prayer shawl that she made for me, which means a lot to me, definitely. I just, I'm keeping it here until now, and now I'm going to be putting it probably in my bag that I carry with me everywhere because um, I love that. You know, it's nice to think people are thinking of me when I'm going through a really hard time. I haven't told anybody publicly what's going on. Some of my friends know, you know, but, um, and I'm not, I don't want to share it. 
I, and I know, no, no, there's no pressure. I know, everybody's told me that, there's no pressure. But uh, I just, I did want you guys, you know, everybody to know that, that I am going through something pretty rough right now. I just don't want to talk about it. So, yeah. But anyways, thank you so much for that. <laughs> the next thing I got was from Tina, and she's the one who previously sent me a few copies of the Happy Gurumi books that I, I got to keep one, and then I gave away, I think, two or three of them. I can't even remember now. It's been, there's been a bunch of them. But she said that she found this book at her local Dollar Tree, too, but she only found two copies. So she got her a copy, and then she bought me a copy and sent it to me. And this is a really big book for a Dollar Tree book. Like, it's got a lot of patterns in it. But it's called Crocheted Key Rings and Charms. So it's a bunch of little um, crochet key rings and charms. <laughs> and it's big. Like, this is a lot of patterns for a dollar. And what's super cute, this, this made me think of Terry over at Yarn Joy podcast because she's always making the little backpack buddies and that's basically what these are it's a book of backpack uh, let me try that again book of backpack buddies <laughs> but um there's all kinds of them here there's one that looks like a uh, crayon there's a little house a cat a penguin there's just a bunch of them in here anything else crazy and back here it's got like uh telling about the eyes and the the key rings and stuff a rocket ship. These would be cute as key rings, backpack buddies, just little amigurumis to give people, uh, Christmas ornaments, you know, like if your kid really likes penguins, you can make the penguin one. Anything like that. They're just super cute. So I really appreciate this and I'm probably gonna be using this pretty soon. And I'm sure this costs for like DK weight yarn. Let me look. What does it say? Yeah, it, it, this, this first one costs for DK weight. But, you know, if you wanted it bigger, you could just use bigger yarn and it would come out bigger. But that's really cool. So, thank you so much for that book, Tina. Stick it over there. Alright, I also got some labels. <laughs> ordered some more labels for my bags. These are slightly larger than the ones I used last time. And this time, I'm working on the quilted bags today, actually. And this time, I'm going to be ironing on the labels before I sell the bags together. So that I can put labels on all the bags. Last update, the quilted bags didn't have labels on them because I forgot to iron them on before I put the bag together and you can't iron on batting <laughs> or at least uh, the batting that I have is the polyester or whatever because um, it'll melt <laughs> and I found that out the hard way <laughs> one, of the, one of the bags I couldn't sell because I melted it a little bit but um, so now I'm going to be putting these labels on before I sew them together so all the bags should have labels on them this update I'm slowly getting better at doing that one of these days it'll be perfect I think but not today. <laughs> All right, and the last package I got was from Brittany, and she has a, um, a YouTube channel and an Instagram that she's really active on. I'll link her YouTube channel below, and then you can find any other her links through her, but her uh, YouTube channel is called Wool Makes, and so is her Instagram, actually, so if you wanted to just look that up, but she, uh, she messaged me on Instagram and told me that she s wanted to send me something, or actually that she already sent it, um, and then in the letter she said that I could open it on here or not. It doesn't matter. But of course I'm not going to wait to open it because I can't. I don't have patience. But I already opened it. So here's the card she sent. It's got a lot of words on it. <laughs> but it's just basically a thinking of you kind of thing. So first she sent some more of these. I've got, I got some of these recently from someone too. So I'm, I'm good on bobbins for a while. <laughs> Thank you. And then she sent some yarns. So she sent three of the peaches and cream. I think they're all three stripey. Yes, stripey. And this is the first one that she sent. It's like uh, watery tones, like blues. It's called Evening Sea. And the stats is the worsted number four. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's 100% cotton. Two ounces, 102 yards. And I'm pretty sure it's 100% cotton. I can't find it. Yes, 100% cotton. So there's that one that's like watery tones. And then there's this one called green stripes <laughs> and it's greens and yellows and blues where the yellows you know where the colors meet it makes the blues and yellows and whites and then this one is called quiet uh dahlia i think it's how you say that's a flower name and it's pinky purpley colors <laughs> so i'll throw them little cotton cakes i guess they're cakes and she also sent these two big things which surprised me because i've been seeing people hauling these and i haven't actually seen them because i think you buy these at michael's and I never go to Michael's. The other day it was the only time I went to Michael's for in forever. <laughs> but she sent me two of the new Premier Bobbins. I don't know anything about these yarns. It's called Antipillin Everyday Bobbin. 
it's three balls in one so each one of these colors are separate it's a number four it's 100 percent acrylic it is 181 yards each which is a total of 400 543 yards uh nine ounces all together i don't know if these have colors names uh it says patent pending <laughs> I don't think they have colored names. Man, I don't see a color name, but I'm probably overlooking it. This is like a blue teal color combo. And then also greens. I think they actually look good together. Blues and greens are like my favorite colors together. But you can make like a, a kid sweater out of one bobbin. But it also has a picture of like a scarf, socks, a shawl. A sweater mittens and a hat so you could really make anything you want to make so i'm probably going to look up some see what other people are making with these because if i could use both of them together that would be cool so that's that would be let's see that would be a thousand and eighty six yards these two together so that would make something cool now the last thing that was in the package was the thing that i was most excited about <laughs> and i told her and that when i opened it when i realized what it was because i opened it this way first it was backwards I just thought, you know, it's a magazine. So I laid it aside and looked at this other stuff. And then I picked up the magazine and turned it over. And I, I literally went, ah, out loud. <laughs> so much that Devin was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. He thought probably like a bug or something. I don't know. But it is the Annie Spooktacular Crochet book that a lot of people have been putting out videos on. And I've been wanting it so bad. And I haven't been able to find it uh, anywhere around me locally. And I don't like ordering stuff. We've been to this. I don't order stuff. But I was so excited. I actually made one of these before. It's in my living room right now. <laughs> um, this is a Heidi Yates pattern. I got it forever ago. It's actually in here as a paid for pattern because you have to buy the magazine, but it's free on her website, or it was. I don't know if it is now because she put it in a magazine. But um, I was so excited to get this. I was so happy to get this. There's so many things in here that I want to make, and I don't need to start another blanket, but I want to make this one. So bad. Look at it. It's candy corns. But there's so many things in here that I want to make, and I probably will start making them right away. Because <laughs> it is Halloween season for me now. Actually, um, let's see, the first is next Tuesday. I usually wait until September, the first week of September, to put out my Halloween decorations outside. So, and Devin's off this coming, the Labor Day weekend. Uh, what is that? That's like 7th, 6th, and 5th, I think. 5th, 6th, 7th of september so we'll probably put our halloween decorations the outside ones that day because <laughs> it's officially spooky season after the 31st of august and it's already spooky in my house it's been decorated for like a month <laughs> but um and then on halloween night after we get done trunk or treating and all that i come home and that's when i put up the christmas tree <laughs> i don't decorate it i just get it out of the box and fluff it and then the next day is when full-on christmas season starts in our house and decorations go up but I'm so excited for this magazine. This is probably my most favorite thing that I got out of that box. I love it all, but I was so excited to get this. I can't wait to rip into it. <laughs> but I've got to finish sewing. I've got the whole stack of quilted bags here Ooh, on the chair beside me. They're already quilted. I went ahead and I did all that earlier where I put the lines through them. So now I need to go back through and put the liners together and the outers together. Box all the corners and then I'll be ready to sew them all together tomorrow. I always pre-plan my sewing days in advance so I know... So I have goals every day what I need to do. And I did that yesterday and Sunday was my notion pouches and I got all of them done. There's 41 of those. <laughs> and I got them all done on Sunday and Monday. So Tuesday and Wednesday, today and tomorrow is for the quilted bags. My goal is to have them all done by tomorrow sometime. And then Thursday and Friday, I'll be working on the drawstring bags. So everything should be done and ready to go in the shop by Saturday. That's my plan is to do my update on Saturday. So I'll be looking for updates on Etsy by Saturday. I'll also announce it here on a video and on the Facebook group. So yeah, but I'm going to hop off here and I'll see you guys next video. Bye guys.